Hey guys, Zalonius here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, we are going to be looking at the best team that I think you can get on EAFC at the moment. I'm basing this on my opinion, obviously, but then also what I've seen pro players running at the recent EAFC World Cup won in very dominant fashion, to be honest, by Anders Vergang. So I'm going to base it more on my opinion, but obviously my opinion is somewhat shaped by what they think is really good because the pro players, the ones who break the game, test it to the nth degree, know what everything's good at. So there's going to be some different options in it. Starting with the keeper, I think it's going to be someone like Emmy Martinez, Smichael probably, one of the really big keepers that um, have really crazy stats. I'm going to go um, Emmy Martinez. That is partly my bias, though, as an Aston Villa fan. I'm not going to lie there. Okay, right back. Carvajal is an obvious contester, uh, contendant either. Um, Bruiser, whip pass, block, pretty good. Could have more play styles, though. Walker with Jockey and Rapids, great. He has a lot of play styles in general. His card's crazy at six foot. Um... Kimmich is really good. Hayes Navas is really good. If we look at right wing backs, Frimpong's great. Cafu's great. I think this Cafu 5 4, whip pass, jockey, quick step, aerial, is the one that I'm going to go. So we'll pick him. Cafu is insane. He's an icon. And I think sometimes the icons just stand out a bit more. So let's look at centre backs now. Van Dijk, Saliba, it's going to be hard to look past them, but I think every single card on that page um, could be relevant. That like, what do you... Are you sick to death of getting out-teamed on FC24? Want that God squad you've always been dreaming of? Check out IGGM.com today, the best and most reliable place to get coins for your ultimate team. Use the link in the description and code Zell at checkout for a 5% discount. Check out IGGM.com today. You guys think you want in a centre back? Anticipate Ariel. Saliba has both of those, and the 99 Van Dyke has a normal Ariel as well. So I'm going to go for those two there. Left back. I think there's a lot of really good options. I think the Theo Hernandez or Cap De Vier or Davies or Mendy could all be really good options. Um, for me, though, I think that I'm probably going to go. Hernandez, rapid and whip pass are amazing. Um, I think Captain V is really good, but I think the Theo Hernandez, if I remember right, five star, four star. I think that Captain V without five stars, well, well five stars is not a huge deal left, but I just think that Hernandez is absolutely insane. Okay, so midfield now, we'll look at all midfielders, and we might even have to look at like, um, what you call it, attackers. I'm definitely going to put Vieira in there just because in my ideal midfield, I think you want an absolute union there. We'll put him as the middle centre mid to us. What's this uh, Nico Williams like at this point? They're crazy to be fair. Not the best player styles. Is Hullet in here? That Saka honestly could gain a lot of midfields. Um, I've seen quite a few pros using Saka. He's a good shout for it. So many insane cards at this point in the game to look through and choose. It's really hard. Let's just search Hullet. What's the best Hullet at the moment? 97 Hullet. 5 star, 5 star. Finesse, ping, pass, anticipate. Great in the air. I think that Hullet is without doubt. You need him in the best midfield in the game. I don't think you could really look past that. I think after that, Zidane is a great option. 5-5. Five, five. Musiala could be great as a more attack-minded midfielder. Uh, bon Matty's crazy, Pedri, De Paul, they're all insane cards. Um, 5 5 De Paul with 93 as his worst base stat. Ping pass technical, I'd have a dead ball and relentless that great though. I'm going to go Pedri in there. Pedri doesn't have maybe as good a shot as some of the others. Still amazing, but the dribbling, passing, um, he's got the best passive play styles bar pinged pass. Crazy card, but I think you could pick so many of them. In terms of forwards, Again, crazy amount of options. I think that this Messi is insane. 5-5, five, five, finesse, technical, tiki-taka. I want him in there. 
I think this Haaland has to be in there based on how he is with pros. Uh, where was the one I was just looking at? Ronaldo. We want R9 in there. And in terms of some of the other just crazy ones, Palmer. There's so many attackers compared to midfielders, defenders. Dal Dalglish. We're going to stick Zidane in there. Cruyff. Almost amazing. De Bruyne. Von Matty we even mentioned. Bellingham. To be honest, Bellingham I'm going to put into the Pedri actually thinking about. There's just so many cards. It's near impossible to really pick at this point. You can't go wrong. Uh, there's some other attackers I like. The look of Pele's great. Pop. Mbappe. Where's Mbappe's best one? Nice dynamic image on the 98 Mbappe. To be honest, I'll probably put him in over Messi. You could pick 50 players that could make it into the top team pretty much. Uh, I think we're going to put Bellingham in there. I think he's just more well-rounded probably than Pedri. I think this front three, not in the 4 3, three probably like 4 3 2 one But it would just be insane. I don't remember picking Klaus. I swear I picked Cafu unless I'm being stupid. have a look there we go ridiculous team though full of so many top tier players i think mean, it's hard to pass this this team's average rating is like a 98 that's insane this is probably the craziest i've ever seen the power curve go with the play styles and all the cards i appreciate you guys watching let me know who would be in your best team at the moment on the game there's going to be more cards coming out over the next month so with footage as well i do appreciate you and all the support as always keep it spicy Hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.